Good morning. I have one thing I wanted to explore with you this morning. But two things that I had to say before that. One, <clears throat> I went on a workout yesterday, run slash um, upper body, whatever it's called. And it's so dry here. Oh my God. I, I went on my run and I was like, why does it feel like I'm, I'm just in a toaster? Like I'm in a toaster oven. <laughs> like imagine being in a toaster. That's literally what it feels like. Just like heat, just like radiating on you. And every couple of seconds, like my eyes would dry up and I'm like, like what? what is going on? <laughs> like, why, why are my eyes all weird? And, oh, even like right here, I walk, I walk into the shade of the tree and it's like fine. And then you walk out of the shade and you just feel the heat. <laughs> so anyway, I checked the humidity yesterday and it was 19% and I was like, oh, Okay, I get it now. <laughs> but it feels so good right now. Oh my God, it's like, it's yeah, it's like 21, 22 Celsius. Oh, it feels amazing. So anyway, I did that yesterday. That was funny. Like the past, I don't even know. Six months, I've been in very humid places. Literally uh, a couple of days ago in Haonang, I was doing my workout and I was literally drip dripping. I, somebody put a literally counter in this video. The, the sweat was dripping from me every couple of seconds. Like drip, drip, drip. It's the most I've ever sweat. And yesterday, I barely sweat at all. I was like, oh wow, this is weird. <laughs> So anyway, very different. And the other thing to share was uh, yesterday I had this uh, sensation after, uh, it was around, around my workout, around 4 or 5 p.m. Um, when I looked in the distance, like things got kind of blurry but when I was looking at stuff up close, it, things were clear. Like my vision was blurry in the distance. And I was like, ah, I'm looking at a screen too much. <laughs> That's an easy indicator. So it, it feels it feels way better now. But every so often I'll I'll come across that my long, whatever it's called my long vision uh, can we just appreciate for a second the fact that the sun is out on my walk oh my god been in malaysia for two months walking in the dark can't see anything you guys can't see anything oh feels good feels good anyway the main thing that i wanted to share today was that i i just feel awkward i feel I don't feel confident and I want to be careful because I don't want to label as a generalization here because that doesn't help, doesn't serve me. But like yesterday, what was it? After my workout, going into the restaurant I went to. I felt pretty confident. But just a lot of little moments yesterday, I think, I think, and and I don't have the answer. I'm not like, I, I can't, I can't say, oh, it's, yeah, it's just this one thing. Um, and this is how you fix it and whatever. Like, I, I actually don't know. I, one of the things that I noticed is that when I walk into a cafe, or a coffee shop or a restaurant 
and there's a, the airport is really close to here, um, so you get some pretty big planes. Um, the way to say hello or like hi in Thai is I'm gonna butcher this. It's like sawadi swat d, and then you put in this like polite word or whatever. If you're if you are a female, you say ka. If you are a male, you say it's spelled krup, but it's more like a it's more like a crop crop. The R is really. Uh, silent and the P is just like all you do is you just like close your lips so it ends up being something like a swadi crop swadi cop something like that um, and <laughs> I feel so what's the word unconfident is that even a word in saying that because I know I'm not pronouncing it right and I've noticed that a couple times in the past handful of months. When I don't feel confident in my ability to pronounce a word, I tend to just not try. Because I and and I don't I don't think I like that. Cause I think like if I'm a local, I would appreciate that you're you're at least trying you know you know it's not perfect but like you're at least trying but i i don't know something something in my brain is like yeah but it's it's gonna be embarrassing if you if you don't pronounce it right you know and i've gotten thank you down pretty well but it's the hell out that i i don't really can't really get. Uh, thank you is, I think it's spelled cob, kun, and then you put the polite thing, the polite word on the end, but it ends up being more like a kabun, I say kabun crop, or kabun, kabun ka, kabun ka, something like that. See? Maybe, maybe this is just my practice. I'm just going to practice with you and embarrass myself to the internet so that when I go up to someone, <laughs> uh, I could say it better. I don't know. Um, you just kind of like, you, you, you mush everything together and then it sounds fine. But anyway, I think this is one of the reasons. Like I've gone, gone into cafes and I noticed like, one of the, actually, one of the things that I like about Thailand is they don't speak English to you, like, right up front. Like, you'll walk into a cafe and they'll say, Sawadee, Sawadee Krup. They won't say, like, hi, hello, good morning. And I like that. I like that. They're, like, more authentic here. Whereas, I feel like the generalization in Malaysia was that, like, everyone just spoke English to you up front. Um... And so, I don't know, I, I, I kind of like it, but it makes it harder. So, yeah, I, there were a couple instances where I just like walk in and I just like smile and nod and don't say anything. And, and the only reason that happened is because I don't feel confident in saying the word. And maybe that has been the domino. But I don't know. I just feel, I feel like a lot more, uh, I don't know what the word is. Not as, not as solid, you know? I don't know, it's something like that. Like I said, I don't know the answer, but it's something that I noticed because it's like repeat times. It's like, wait, why did you act like that? And like, why, why did your voice get higher? And you asked like for permission. 
rather than just, you know, something else. So, anyways, I think that's what I have for you today. There's this, uh, yeah, this is the, like, there's this night market here. I think they're still developing it, but it's all pink and stuff. There's, uh, I'll show a picture in my blog post. Um, there's this, on the other side of this road, there's a... Uh, it's like, I don't even know what to call it. It's like a, a mall, but it's an open air mall. And it's got, a, it's like this brick industrial type vibe. Um, and there are a whole bunch of like little shops and cosmetic stores and cafes and rest. There's like Michelin star restaurants in there. And it doesn't feel like Thailand. And it, it actually, I was like, wait, is this like, it kind of feels like Europe or like a like a Midwest um, uh, don't know what the word is for them like commercial district mall type thing in the like industrial type vibe yeah it's, uh, it's really cool I, I really like the vibe here great food great cafes and uh, yeah Okay, stick it out a couple more days. See you tomorrow.